Your vote 2024, the election now less than two weeks away. The Riverside County Registrar of Voters is stepping up technology and security to make sure this election is as transparent as possible. Athena, Athena Drage is here now live in studio after visiting offices in Riverside as we get closer to Election Day. Athena. That's right, John and Karen. I was there today and I spoke with officials on how they're maintaining election integrity and the opportunities voters can take to understand that process better. The life of a ballot, it's something the Riverside County Registrar of Voters is opening up for all to see. We definitely opened up so the public is able to understand what it is we do here and how their votes will be handled uh, and counted. Registrar of Voter Chief Art Tinoco says they've hired hundreds more workers and implemented new machinery to streamline the process for the county's 7,200 square mile voting pool. We have uh, approximately 1,200 temporary employees that will all that have also been assisting, and again, they're also the backbone of the process. New strategies like voter observer tours and live streams of the warehouse have also pulled back the curtain. We also have been offering election observer tours, as many of you are already aware, and we are uh, very proud to be offering these tours uh, so f uh, folks from the community or anybody that's interested uh, to be able to join us. KSQ got an inside look at the work done to verify mail-in ballots ahead of Election Day. They start here, where a high-speed scanner takes digital images of each ballot to verify signatures. If your signature can't be verified, the registrar will send you a form to confirm your ballot. Ballots are then scanned to count votes. Update as of today approximately 1,403,72 vote by mail ballots have been issued and approximately 186,450 have been returned as good. After a turbulent 2020 election season, the call is stronger now more than ever to make the lengthy process more understandable to the everyday voter. And why did I create this? To in allow the community to be able to witness firsthand what it is this office does. Take out the mystery from the wonderful work we do. The registrar will open early vote centers this Saturday. For a deeper look at the ballot certification process, head to our website, ksq.com. Live in studio, Athena Drage, News Channel 3.